exclusive live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. So my wife and I have done the giving machines in the past. Mm -hmm. Great thing, lots of fun. I love trains, yeah. thanks for showing that. <laughs> How much time do I have for dinner break to run out through the units? I don't know. You have enough time, maybe, uh, possibly, but you know, those trains, I'm excited <laughs> too because I've been on there once before, maybe I was little, and it was like freezing cold a couple times, yeah. and now it's like the snow will be melted. It'll be kind of nice. Well, and we've had a little bit of melting snow already this afternoon, but you know what? This, these are numbers, data collected by meteorologist Katie Horner this morning, and this is, uh, you know, these are this is what we predicted actually about one two inches for the metro area. You can see the heavier amounts north and northwest of Kansas City. She also asked viewers to send in some pictures, and I just love seeing these. Thanks, Katie, for putting this together. But uh, those of you really came through showing us how much snow you got in the Northland, nearly three and a half, maybe four inches uh, north of the river. And you look a little farther east, and a more of a, a kind of a dusting, maybe half an inch at most when you go away from Kansas City east and southeast. For the upcoming week, Monday through Wednesday, some sunshine. Temperatures will be slightly below the normal, though. Thursday and Friday we have some rain chances and then as the next weekend Saturday looks mostly dry but then that rain chance kicks in again on Sunday. You'll see all that in detail on the nine day forecast. Beautiful shot of the plaza on a Sunday afternoon, but it's cold out there. 35 degrees our dew point at 27 and the wind chills have been in the 20s right now. Wind speeds about nine miles an hour and the pressure is rising. Now speaking of thermometer readings, we're all holding steady right now in the mid 30s, but they'll continue to drop as the cloud cover erodes away. There's that wind coming in from a west direction around uh, nine, 10 miles an hour, creating that wind chill. And this is how it feels like 27 in Cameron, 29 Olathe and Paola, 29 in Butler and 27 in Belton, Missouri. Sedalia, you're feeling like 27. You're out uh, side in exposed skin, so it does feel colder than the actually thermometer reading. A little bit of cloudiness left over, but no precipitation. You have to go all the way to the Great Lakes near Chicago, getting some snowfall there. There's our leading edge of some colder air that's going to take up uh, camp for us about two days. So if you are heading out this evening, it's going to be mostly clear skies, uh, 28 degrees by 9 o'clock down to 25 right before midnight. It doesn't stop there. We'll actually start out around 17 degrees early tomorrow morning, going back to work and school right before sunrise. That's when that the lowest part of the day will be. But then the temperature will struggle a bit. We'll get up to about 36 degrees with golden rays helping us out. Uh, well below that normal of 48, 47 degrees where we should be. Speaking of which, those of you like in far the north, 36 for St. Joseph, 37 tomorrow afternoon for Paola and Clinton, flirting with the low 40s. Now, let's talk about our nine day forecast. 19 degrees come Tuesday morning, high of 41. Normal high should be about 49. So 46, 48, there's your chance of rain late Thursday into Friday morning. The high on Friday, 41. As of right now, the weekend, Saturday looking dry, 44 degrees. And the chance of rain moves in on Sunday with a high of 49.